in this section we are going to talk about analytics technology we are going to talk about the most widely used tools in analytics and we are going to talk about some of the organizations that use a lot of analytics there are thousands of analytics tools that are available in the market there are many free tools available in the market there are many paid tools there are tools that specialize in doing specific tasks and there are tools that can do a whole variety of different tasks so depending on what your requirement is what your need is the right tool may be different for different people sas is of course uh, the 800 pound gorilla in the analytics space sas is the biggest player in the market their uh, products are typically fairly high priced their licensing is uh, fairly expensive but they also have some of the most complete products available in the market their most popular products are base sas and uh, sas enterprise miner base sas is uh, the programming software this is the tool that requires uh, writing the codes in the sas language while enterprise miner is the gui version the base sas uh, software is one of the most popular tools in the market the enterprise miner the gui version is not as popular because it's very very high priced ibm has also made a lot of acquisitions in the recent years in the analytics space they bought over cognos which is a bi tool they also bought over spss which has some good analytics uh, tools in the market so the common spss product is fairly popular in academia while spss clementine which is comparable to sas enterprise miner is uh, more popular in corporates spss clementine is of course also a fairly expensive tool like sas enterprise miner but uh, again a very comprehensive and complete tool kxcn is another tool which is not uh, very popular it's more like a black box where uh, you essentially put in the data and ask the tool to do something you really get a very vague understanding of how the tool has done what it has done but you get some answers so if you are looking for an analysis where you can explain to people what you've done and how you've arrived at the answer then kxcn is not the tool for you but if you are looking at a situation where you have to build hundreds of models and you have to essentially automate the whole model building process then kxcn is probably a good bet angos uh, has uh, products like knowledge studio and knowledge seeker which are uh, good especially for decision trees which is a type of a predictive modeling technique wps is a relatively new product it is essentially a clone of base sas so it can do almost everything that base sas does and it uses the same sas language so anyone who learns wps will also be learning base sas at the same time because the two products are very similar Microsoft Excel is of course the most popular analytics tool uh, it's more of a descriptive analytics tool it is good for analyzing data slicing and dicing the data not so good for building complex predictive models but um, it is there in the list because it's one of the most popular and easily available tools there are a lot of other tools like JMP revolution analytics rapidi statsoft and card that are also fairly useful on the top right of the screen you will see certain tools which are uh, all open source tools veka used to be the most popular open source tool till about 4 uh, or 5 years back now r has become the most popular open source tool r is a fairly uh, capable tool and uh, amongst all the open source tools i think this one is the most uh, capable tool that is available right now and this is why r has become the most popular open source analytics tool in the world and uh, in a few years it is expected to become almost as popular as sas if not more so pentaho and uh, hadoop are also other uh, open source tools that are available in the market hadoop can be combined with r when dealing with big data analytics so these are essentially some of the most widely used analytics tools that are available in the market Um, at jigsaw academy we of course offer our courses in the sas language we use wps to teach the sas language and we also have courses using r and hadoop now let's come to some analytics companies some of the companies that use analytics a lot so we start with niche analytics companies companies that specialize in offering analytic services uh, genpact is of course the biggest one it employs over 4000 people in analytics 
there are uh, other companies like new sigma which has 1000 plus people manthan systems nebler crosstab meritus fractal analytics latent view enterprise genie gramina wns market intelligent these are all small and large niche analytics companies based out of india there are a lot of mnc's that have centers all over the world and also in india banks like hsbc city bank bank of america jp morgan fidelity retailers like tesco target super value e retailers like amazon ebay google all of these use analytics and have analytics teams in india global analytics companies or consulting companies like mckinsey deloitte fico millward brown kpmg boston analytics dun and bradstreet ac nielsen dun humby ims iri these are all global analytics companies that have analytics teams in india indian it companies have also woken up to the power of analytics they've realized that if they want to move up the value chain then uh, they need to move into analytics so companies like infosys wipro tcs cognizant hcl hp igate all of them have started analytics they've uh, started offering analytics services to their clients they are building analytics teams uh, wipro infosys tcs already have strong analytics teams and the others are catching up with them so there's a lot of uh, demand from indian analytics companies for analytics talent as well and of course now even indian companies are waking up to the power of analytics uh, banks like icici and uh, hdfc bank insurance companies like bharti axa bajaj alliance etc started the use of analytics in india and now retailers like shopper stop and e retailers like Rediff and India Times, etc., are also using analytics extensively. So these are essentially all the companies that uh, use analytics. We'll also quickly touch upon the career path in analytics. Typical designation at a starting level in analytics is that of an analyst. Though the designation of data scientist is also becoming fairly popular now. You spend about two years uh, working at the entry level. and then you move to the senior analyst position um another 2 to 4 years there and then you move to the lead analyst or the team lead position and from there to the manager position so that's essentially the career path initially when you start off as an analyst you will probably be working uh, as part of a larger team there'll be other more experienced analysts to guide you uh, most companies will want you to specialize in one particular domain even specialize on one particular client so for example if you are working for a company like amazon then obviously all you are doing is analyzing data for amazon but if you are working for a company like genpack genpack could be analyzing data for hundreds of different clients in such a case they would typically want their new hires to specialize in one particular domain maybe even with one particular client build up the necessary knowledge and experience and then move to another domain so you spend a couple of years learning the tricks of the trade working with more experienced analysts then you become a senior analyst where you start either working independently or as part of another team or even leading a team on small projects and uh, work for another couple of years try to work on uh, different uh, kinds of problems different kinds of data sets different kinds of domains build more experience and then move into a lead role as a lead you could either be a subject matter expert so you specialize in one particular field or one particular technique or one particular domain or you could become a people manager in which case you are leading a team of analysts working on maybe multiple projects across different clients across different domains so this essentially is the career path in analytics another important thing to think about in analytics is of course the salaries in this field so the global salaries in analytics are fairly high uh, they are uh, slightly higher than uh, your typical mba salaries in the us and canada of course the salaries are 100000 plus they are close to 100000 in australia new zealand and you can see the average salaries as compiled by the kd nuggets poll in 2012 for all different regions in the world specifically coming to india analytics salaries in india have increased tremendously in the last 5 to 6 years the starting salaries used to be between 2 to 3 lakhs in 2004 now they are anywhere between 6 to 10 lakhs and as you move up the salaries move from 6 to 10 lakhs for an analyst to 8 to 12 lakhs for senior analyst 
10 to 14 lakhs for a lead analyst and up to 20 lakhs for a manager. So this is essentially all about the technology being used in analytics, the companies that are using analytics and a little bit about the career path and salaries in analytics.